Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I am Longevity. Today I have an interesting study that I need to speak about because I just found it. It's from December 2023. It's a month old. In the world of aging gracefully, few exemplify the art as masterfully as Richard Morgan, a 93-year-old Irishman who stands as a testament to the extraordinary possibilities of fit and healthy living in later years. Morgan is a four-time world champion in indoor rowing, possesses the cardiovascular fitness of a 30 or 40-year-old, and has the body fat percentage that defies conventional norms of aging. I enjoy this. In a recent study published in the Journal of Applied Physiology, delves into the intricacies of Morgan's training, diet, and physiology revealing a fascinating narrative of triumph over time, baby. Morgan's journey into the world of fitness started at the age of 73, which intrigued researchers from a university of Limerick. The study was spearheaded by Bas Van Horen and Lorcar Daly, aimed to unravel the mysteries of Morgan's late life exercises, profound impact on his aging body. The study's findings paint a picture of Morgan as an aging powerhouse. In 92, which is in, he's in 93 now, his heart rate peaked at an astonishing 153 beats per minute during a simulated 2,000 meter time trial. This incredible feat, well beyond the expected maximum heart rate for his age, signaled a strong, efficient cardiovascular system. His heart's ability to rapidly supply oxygen and fuel to working muscles showcased a level of oxygen uptake kinetics comparable to that of a healthy individual in their 30s or 40s. Morgan's fitness routine is a testament to the powerhouse of consistency. Rowan, he rows approximately 30 kilometers, about 18.5 miles weekly, averaging around 40 minutes every single day. It forms a cornerstone of his regimen. The mix of easy, moderate, and intense training sessions keeps his body agile and responsive. Morgan's approach is characterized by a judicious blend of easy, moderate, and intense training sessions. Around 70% of his workouts are easy, 20% are challenging but tolerable, and the remaining 10% push him to an all-out barely sustainable intensity. This dynamic routine ensures a comprehensive workout that targets various aspects of his physical fitness. I say this many times on my channel. I preach this many times on my channel. In addition to rowing, Morgan weight trains twice to three times a week. He performs lunges and curls using adjustable dumbbells, pushing his muscles to the point of fatigue. This strategic incorporation of weight contributes to his impressive muscle composition for his age. Morgan's high-protein diet plays a pivotal role in sustaining his physical prowess, regularly exceeding the recommended daily protein intake. He, his dietary habits align with the nutritional needs essential for maintaining muscle mass and overall fitness. He eats a lot of protein, ladies and gentlemen. Like I always say, protein is life. Exercise can reshape everyone's journey, offering a path to resilient and functional body, regardless of any age. While exercise may not entirely reverse the aging process, it can certainly slow down the decline, absolutely, presenting a more gradual and manageable trajectory. As researchers delve into the secrets of exceptional longevity, Morgan's story serves as a guiding light, encouraging individuals of all ages to embrace the transformative power of exercise and rewrite the script of their aging journey. Ladies and gentlemen, I said it many times on my channel, he eats a high-protein diet. How come mTOR has not killed him? Okay. High protein is needed in the body. He's a perfect example. Okay. In addition, he works out every day. He doesn't work out 150 minutes a week. He works out every day, every single day. All I'm saying is this. Don't believe everything you hear in mouse studies. This man is a perfect example of exercise and high protein. He's 93 years old and he has very low body fat. Not very low, but enough 
He has like 14, 15% body fat and 93 years old. He has the cardiovascular system of somebody. And he, has, he has the bone density of somebody 70 years old. Look, all I'm saying is this. High protein is important. I said it over and over on my channel. It doesn't harm you. The mTOR stuff you hear, absolutely nonsense. Absolutely nonsense. Okay? Protein makes you live longer. There's nothing to do with lifespan. And don't forget to exercise, ladies and gentlemen. This man is a perfect example. Have a great day. I'll see you in my next video.